Hey, everybody. It's... <laughs> Sorry, it's my K-Love, man. I love my K-Love. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Uh, if you like positive, encouraging music, K-Love is the answer, man. It is good music. That's all I listen to ever. I don't listen to any other music anymore for over 10 years now. Links in the description. You will love it. Trust me, it'll make your day so much better. Now, I, I want to show you what's going on as far as the tropics. Uh, as you know, that the one by by Nicaragua and Honduras down here in Central America, uh, that it, the percentage has gone down. Matter of fact, in 72 hours, this is for tropical depression possibilities that we're looking at. It is going down, and in five days, it will dissipate. But as, as off, also, you see that there is a new one that could be popping up after that up to the next 10 days. So there's a possible possibility for a tropical depression could form also in that area. Uh, however, doing a little bit of my homework, I think that is, is not really going to be possible. Uh, now, as far as the ensembles go for the 31 members, I'm showing that out of all 31, all we really have is one member. Uh, that's showing that there's a possibility after six days that something could form and it could go towards Jamaica, towards Cuba, and go out by Turks and Caicos. Uh, however, I'm showing that that really isn't a possibility neither. Okay, if you look here, you notice this is all dry air coming in. And the dry air is going to be swamping the whole area. And there's no way anything is going to be forming up in that area anytime soon. And that is for sure. <laughs> not with all that dry air. It's not getting past it. Now, just to keep an eye on everything that's going on, we do have that, that little uh, possibility uh, in between uh, Bermuda and Bahamas, which I'm showing is not going to be an issue neither, guys. Uh, if you watch and see, as the next couple of days go by, you'll see that these low pressures start to move uh, north and eastward. So they are moving further and further away. Uh, but however, when you get towards the five days, there is a possibility that these systems could interact in some way for the northeast. And even when you, once you get to five days, it could actually form something in the northeast as is going away. But there could be some subtropical conditions as far as winds and maybe rain. I will update that tomorrow morning as well because I did notice that the the whole entire East Coast, GFS and Euro shows that y'all gonna be getting some rain soon. So I will update update y'all on that. Now, as we look at the SpaghettiOs, you'll see that nothing is coming out of this disturbance, uh, except for a little possibility towards Bermuda once you get further along. Here's Bermuda right here, and you'll see that it's just a little anomaly that's moving even 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 further north and even further east away as each day goes by and then the whole mess of possibilities for the northeast as it pulls away so i'm really not showing that that would be too much of a problem i was wondering if it was going to be a possible nor nor'easter but it's not not looking like that would be a possibility neither but i will i will update you i will stay on it but as you see the rainfall now there will be rainfall going to be happening as far as uh you have Jamaica, you have Cuba, you have Bahamas. Uh, also, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, you also will be getting some rainfall uh, within the next few days. Now, if you look at a satellite, this is a satellite view, you will notice that these, these systems do dance all around Jamaica. And that's a good thing for you, Jamaica, because you're going to be getting light rainfall considering uh, what is all around you. But when you get up to the five days, you will see the anomaly that it did show that maybe a possibility could come uh, from the Nicaragua Honduras areas and it could build as far as the tropical depression area. You can see it starting up down here. But as you can see, it's too late to be forming. I mean, we're talking already seven, eight days. But if it does, it is going to push through and go out to the Pacific. But if we look at the, the total precipitation that you're going to be getting as far as the next four days next four days nicaragua honduras guatemala belize you are going to be getting some rainfall uh, now inland you'll be getting anywhere from one to three inches three inches being the heavy red spots that you see more heavier along the bay side getting up to four inches and then you get five inches for guatemala on bay side and a little bit on inland as well but if you know this is one spot right here by the guatemala honduras border 
that it can be up to 10 inches. So be aware for the rainfall is going to be coming soon. Uh, also for Jamaica. Jamaica, as you can see, the rain danced all around you. Cayman Islands, you're going to get over two inches of rain within the next four days. And Jamaica, you're going to be getting anywhere from an inch to two inches uh, around the whole island. It's going to be pretty much hit and miss. It depends what these storms do because they're going to be all over the place. But I do have a better number for you in just a minute. Now, Bahamas, I don't know if people have been telling you that you're going to be getting a lot of rainfall. I'm not showing a lot of rainfall for you. I'm, I'm showing a quarter to a third of an inch within the next four days. But since it's going north and east, it looks like most of the rainfall, if any, will be towards Turks and Caicos with a possibility of a couple of inches. But here's a better look for you for the next five days for Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, and Belize. You can see the numbers for your area for the rainfall. It is pretty heavy on the base side, and this is Euro. Uh, the GFS actually shows a little bit more localized sort towards uh, San Pedro Sula, but that's that's about it. Belize, you're getting almost five inches of rainfall, mostly on base side, but, but be aware there's going to be some heavy rainfall coming for y'all area for the next few days. Uh, Jamaica, here's your area. You are going to be seeing anywhere from one to three inches. It's still got, look like it's going to be heavier on the north and east side of the island. And when you go to the GFS, it shows even lighter amounts. Uh, but so that's, that's how much of a hit and miss it is. Look how much of a difference it has between the two. So there's just going to be a lot of storms passing through. And it's really hard to read what your exact rainfall is going to be since you're in a, a, a smaller island in that area of all that, that sea. Now, Bahamas, you're going to get very light rainfall. And like I said, Turks and Caicos, it looks like you're going to be getting some a little bit heavier. Uh, some show two inches, some show a little over two inches. But as far as the GFS goes, it shows that it's even lighter rainfall. And that's mostly because that system is moving north and east away. Every, every day we get through this, we don't have any more problems. Now, I will put this link uh, in the description so y'all can follow this video because, of course, I had to put the sound down, of course, for reasons. But as far as the update on IOTA and what it did to the Central America, so far they have at least 19 people were killed. God bless them and their families. And tens of thousands have been left homeless, guys. And plus, it, it did destroy uh, not only homes but hospitals as well. I mean, a lot of critical, critical places has happened to this place. I'll play a little bit of it so you can see exactly what's going on. But, of course, I had to mute the sound. I will leave the link in the description so you can watch it yourself. But when someone else does a, a news article and they have their voice over it, it is copyright. And no matter how much percentage you have versus a 50 percentage of using other people's uh, material in your videos, you still can't have their voice. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know that, but that is a pretty major thing. That's the one thing you cannot display. That's pretty much on a privacy thing but like i said i will put the link in the description so y'all can see exactly what's been going on over there because it, it's been our horrible god bless honduras god bless nicaragua guatemala belize y'all just back to back major hurricanes this this has been really bad for y'all and i'm sorry to hear that y'all going through these problems it, that it really does break my heart now before y'all go for the evening i know a lot of y'all well, not a lot of y'all but some of y'all i've seen on the average uh, that y'all Click off right before the Bible. Look, man, don't, we're all sinners. Don't feel bad because you have sinned also. We sin. We, we try and fix ourselves every day, and we keep failing. We're trying to better ourselves every day. But you want to stay in the good grace of God because his mercy is the only reason we even wake up breathing every day. Amen. Now, this morning we went through uh, Matthew 2 because I'm doing a New Testament let my kids also know I'm going through the same thing with them. I want to introduce them, let them know the good things about Jesus. Because in, these, in, in this end season, we need to be close to God. And you better praise Jesus all you can, because he's the only one that's going to save us. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his, his raiment of camel's hair and a, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. 
Then went out of him Jerusalem and all of Judea and all of the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to, come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, meats for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, who, whose fan is in, the, in his right hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff which unquenchable for fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John, to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you all have a great night tonight. It has been a great day. And if you didn't see the video this morning, you better check it out because we are going into a negative phase with the Arctic with the Arctic oscillation. I hate that word for some reason. But we have some cold air coming down, some polar air, and it's around the 28th, and it's going to reach all the way down to Florida. And it's going to be cold. We're talking 50s even for Florida. So God bless you all. Hope you have a great night tonight. If you like the video, hit the like for me. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I go every day. God bless you all. All glory does go to God.